The Queen emerged as the fifth most successful brand in the world in a recent poll, with the results suggesting Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may face an uphill battle to establish their brand away from the shadow of the royal family. Speaking to US Weekly's Royal US podcast, royal expert Nick Bullen stressed how the Queen alone is brand Britain and is bigger than Nike, Ferrari and Pepsi combined. Mr. Bullen explained how the, the Queen beats everybody in the brand race and only falls one place behind household names such as Apple, Amazon, and Facebook. His comments come as commentators have speculated how the Sussexes are engaging in a brand war with Buckingham Palace as they launch multi-million dollar commercial projects such as Spotify deals and the new Netflix documentary series but he ensured that Her Majesty represents a brand 1000 years old and is the human being in the top brass of world brands. Mr. Bullen explained, the reality of it is, they, the royal family, are hugely valuable. The tourism they bring in, they are brand Britain, they are brand that surpasses all other brands. Mr. Bullen went on to say how according to a recent survey, the Queen was the fifth most successful brand in the world. And he stressed how Amazon, Apple, Google and Facebook come in only just above the Queen at number four. The extraordinary title sees the Queen personally is bigger than Nike, Ferrari and Pepsi combined according to Mr. Bullen. He added, just the Queen alone is the fifth largest brand in the world. She is bigger than the Kardashians, bigger than Oprah. In terms of brand recognition and brand value, the Queen beats everybody. Mr. Bullon said that the secret to Her Majesty's success comes from the fact that she represents a brand that is 1,000 years old and yet still she is number five in the world. His comments come following speculation from royal commentators and branding experts that the Sussexes are setting about a major brand challenge to the British royal family with their US-styled branding on their commercial interests. Pauline McLaren, a professor of marketing and consumer research at Royal Holloway University explained how Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have established a competitive brand with their version of royalty that destroys the brand of the royal family. This brand, she says, massively challenges the established royal family brand as the California-based pair continue to roll out products from books to podcasts. The consumer expert, who wrote Royal Fever, the British monarchy in consumer culture, said, they are taking that forward in the States and in a way challenging the royal family brand. They are showing they are au fait with contemporary times. They are showing up the royal family for their old-fashioned ways, their much more traditional ways. But Professor McLaren warned the pair of their actions in using royal family titles as a basis of their brand despite the criticism Harry and Meghan have leveled at the royals. She explained, but it is keeping that balance that they keep in touch with royalty because that, of course, is their kudos. Professor McLaren went on to explain how the Sussexes have established their own brand with a heavy emphasis on victimhood which has a massive market in the USA. The professor stressed, they have fairly successfully launched their brand as a kind of rebel royal brand. The underdog narrative that they put across is of course a very well-trodden narrative that succeeds very much for brands in contemporary consumer culture. In setting themselves up in the way they have in the US, I think they are repeating that narrative in the way they are both blaming the royals in different ways. There is a sense of victimhood and that they have had to overcome these challenges. Queen's reported fight back against Prince Harry and Meghan is long overdue, royal expert.